the position of the current case brought by Guatemala against Belize may not result in a final settlement as required and requested by the Belizean people because the Honduran constitution claims um, sovereignty over the Sapo de la Keys. The advice we have received is that if Honduras applies to intervene, it is likely that the court will say, well, Honduras is not a party to the special agreement and therefore it's not properly before the court and it cannot give a decision as to whether Honduras is sovereign, Belize is sovereign, or Guatemala is sovereign. If that happens, it then means that there is a significant area of our maritime space, as well as the Sapa de la Keys, that would remain. Um, the sovereignty of those islands and maritime space would not be determined. That, in our view, would be a step backwards for Belize, because we, at the moment, exercise sovereignty. In order to avoid that, we were advised that if we join the Pact of Bogota, and commence a claim against Honduras and bring that to the ICJ, then we can say to the ICJ, the Guatemala against Belize and the, Hondur and the Belize against Honduras cases are related because of this overlap of claim of sovereignty, resolve it once and for all. So what the Belizean people had voted for to bring an end to the Guatemalan claim once and for all would be achieved if we brought Honduras into the court. If we don't bring Honduras into the court, our advice is that it's likely that we will have to commence yet another case suing Guatemala and Honduras to resolve uh, sovereignty over the Sapodilla. So this is the most efficient way based on the advice that we have received. We will be suing them substantively and asking the courts to hear the two cases either together or one right after the other so that one judgment will be given dealing with it at the same time. Rather than completing Belize, Guatemala, having a whole area that is not resolved and then commencing another claim against Honduras. Now remember, remember, and this is important, we cannot force Guatemala to go to the ICJ. It is only by agreement. So we will have to negotiate a whole new agreement with them over the Sapadillas. We will have to commence a claim against Honduras. We're talking years, we're talking millions of dollars of expenses. We have been advised that this is the most efficient way of dealing with it. We have added a couple more attorneys to look at the Honduras issue, to do the research and prepare and do everything on that side. Now that that is completed, the team have come together and so there's an overlap in the teams dealing with both things because they, you know, um, well, it's, a one, it's one big team now.